So Lisa asked, do, do I advise YouTube versus Vimeo? Oh, definitely, definitely YouTube if, if you want the video to reach people. Vimeo, Vimeo is good for uh, private or private videos for specific clients, you know, clients or group, groups of clients slash students. I still use YouTube even for private videos. Um, just because I just want to stay with YouTube, uh, it's just easier for me. It's, but um, but but it, people, if you're doing private videos, um, YouTube for most people feel like a very public platform. So it's I agree, it's not ideal. It's not ideal that I share private videos using YouTube. Um, but, but you know, when I upload a YouTube video, of course I can select the visibility. Uh, let me see if I can I can show you here. Of course, I can select visibility. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, let me just do this one. I can select the visibility to be unlisted or to be private. Private's really hard to use because you have to have the exact email address associated with their with your Google or YouTube account, and so they and they have to be logged into that account to be able to see your. It's like it's like several you know hoops to jump through. Unlisted is just better in mo most circumstances because. That means the video is not searchable. No one, no one, no one on video, no one on the internet can find it at all unless you share that specific link with them. But even so, it still shows shows up when they view the video. It still looks like they're on YouTube, and they still might have the misunderstanding that it's it's unlisted or private. So it's not ideal. Vimeo, the user interface, when you share a private video, feels more private. And so that's, I think that's the benefit of Vimeo. But otherwise, for visibility, for marketing, for you know, reaching people, YouTube definitely is way, way better.